Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will understand outer join. So in last lecture, we understood how inner join works in SQL. In this lecture, we will understand how outer join works and how it can also have the tuples for which corresponding tuple doesn't exist in other table. Okay. So for example, we have already seen that in inner join, if we are joining these two tables, loan and borrower, on the basis of loan number, then we can see that L1, L2 exist here also, corresponding L1, L2. So these rows will be joined together, but L3 as loan number L3 doesn't exist in borrower table and L4 doesn't exist in loan table. These two rows or these two tuples will be ignored, okay, or will, will not be taken into the output, right? But in case of outer join, we will take this in output also. Okay, so outer join have three types. So the first one is left outer join. Then we have right outer join and we have full outer join. Okay, so in left outer join, what will happen is we will have all the rows or all the records from left table. Okay, but we won't have or we have only those tuples from right table which have corresponding key in left table right similarly right outer join is reverse of left outer join that is we will have all the records from right table but we won't have all the records from left table that is we will have only those records from left table which has corresponding key or corresponding record in right table and full outer join we will have all the records from both the tables so all the record from left all the records from right okay and the record for which there is no entry in left table what I'm saying is the record of right table for which there is no entry in left table will have null there so let's understand it one by one we will start with left outer join so in left outer join we will have all the records from left table but only the matching table matching records from right table so you can see this with the help of Venn diagram that let's say this is a relation 1 okay and this is relation 2 then you can see that when we perform left outer join we will have all the records from A okay but only the matching records from B right so this is the matching record from B fine so we are taking the matching record which we were taking in inner join okay and then extra what we are taking is we are taking all the records from A which are not matching with B okay so the syntax is select attributes from loan left outer join borrower so it's same as of inner join but just you are changing this keyword okay this word instead of writing inner join you are writing left outer join okay and apart from this everything is same fine so this is the syntax that select attributes from loan left outer join borrower on the join condition that is in this case we will have loan dot loan number equal to borrower dot loan number where you can also apply some condition let's say after joining you want to filter out some rows for example where amount that is loan dot amount is greater than 2k or 1.5k okay so additional filter out you can do in where clause you can write predicate fine so this is left outer join similarly in right outer join I'll go quickly now so it's very simple instead of writing left outer join we will write right outer join okay now let's see what would be the output when we perform left outer join over loan and borrower so after performing the join you can see that we will have this as output so we have all the tuples from left table and the attributes are in sequence you can see and we have only two tuples from the right hand side table okay right table so we have only those tuples which have matching key that is l1 l1 l2 l2 right and because L3, L4, these things are not matching. So we have all the tuples from left, left table, but the corresponding 
places for right will have null okay so this is the overall output of left outer join now what we will have in right outer join so let's see similarly in right outer join we will have all the records from right table okay but we will have only matching records from left table you can see here with the help of Venn diagram that we are considering everything from B that is right table or right relation but only the matching tuples from A okay so the simple alteration is instead of writing left in left outer join we will write here right outer join okay so you can see the output from the above table would be we have all the tuples from left and we have only matching from right and where we don't have any matching tuple in left for the right we will put null okay so simply that's how it works and next one is full outer join similarly in case of full outer join we will have records from all the tables that is in case in this case from both the tables okay and wherever we don't have any matching record for particular for some particular tuple we will use null okay and the syntax will be very sim similar in instead of writing left right we will just write full okay so full outer join and all these things and you can see the output so for the record from right table if we don't have any matching in left we will use null similarly for the record from left table where we don't have any matching record in right we will use null okay so this is the output of the above two tables above two tables when we when we use full outer join okay so this is the output of full outer join okay so I hope this is clear now and if you have any doubt any kind of uh, confusion in understanding the concept of join you can ask your doubt in the doubt section on tech2.com thanks for watching See you in the next lecture.